Okay, I'd like to take a second and talk to you guys about reloading your bolt-action rifle one round at a time. Now, for whatever reason, stripper clips are just not a reality for all of us. And because of that, we need to make sure we have a good solid technique down for reloading our bolt-action rifles one round at a time. And I'm just going to show you what works for me. There's a lot of different ways to do things out there. This just works for me, and I invite you guys to try it. But the key word is safety, safety, safety. Um, if you're going to handle your rifle in your home, especially a high-powered rifle such as this, make sure you're doing things in a safe manner. Um, I'm not going to spend this whole video talking about safety. Pretty much almost everybody is an adult that watches these videos. If you are not an adult, you need to make sure you get your parental permission and have them supervising you before you handle a firearm. And if you are an adult, make sure to take times and read books on firearm safety. Go to the NRA website. They have good uh, topics on safety. Make sure you are doing things safe and correct before you handle a firearm in your home. A negligent discharge is not acceptable, and especially if you have family members around, neighbors, you definitely don't want to the risk of uh, hurting somebody you love or, worst case scenario, killing somebody you love. So keep that in mind, safety first. But all right, as we go into this, um, another thing to keep in mind is slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You've heard that a lot of times. Don't worry about trying to reload your bolt gun in 0.2 seconds. It ain't going to work. Just be smooth with it, and you'll find that it's actually pretty dang fast reloading your bolt gun. So, all right, this is an old Chuck Mauser, and it's empty. So what I'm going to do to reload it is I'm going to grab ammunition from whatever source I have, and what I'm going to do is the tip of the bullet is going to go into the gun first. It's going to guide the round into the internal magazine follower. The reason I do that is you can guide the round into the internal magazine follower using the tip of your round whether you are in a good position, whether you're in an awkward position like I am right now I'm trying to work around this camera, or you're in a position where you can't see your internal magazine such as like the prone position. Uh, you might not be in a most, op most optimal position where you can lift the rifle up and look inside. You practice this enough, you can point the tip of the round into the gun like this, and it just guides the round in, just like so. And it's pretty smooth. You can see I'm loading without uh, not much trouble at all. And there's five rounds loaded pretty fast. Now, if you have a rifle that uh, has an optic on top of it, you might say, well, hey, I can't just go straight down into the internal magazine because I have this big honking scope on top of the gun. Well, you can come in from the side and it'll still work. Just like so. Just come in from the side and you can still point the round towards your follower and it still works. There was four more rounds loaded pretty quickly, pretty effectively, and uh, that was coming in more from the side versus coming in from the top. So keep that in mind when you're loading your gun. Practice it when you're out at the range, and as always, safety comes first. I can't stress that enough. You need to be safe. If you're loading a gun at the range, at your house, I don't care if you're using inert rounds, I don't care if you're using snap caps, you always treat the gun as it's loaded. So safety first, safety first, safety first. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and feel free to post your tips on loading a bolt-action rifle, because there's more than one way to skin a cat. All right, thanks a lot.